Drawing three is the dropped arch. We've just completed the Lancet Gothic arch and it's very similar to how we draw the dropped arch. The only difference is with the span of the dropped arch is 850 so it's wider and the rise is 600 than the Lancet Gothic. Now we'll follow one to five in the instructions with the dropped arch then I'll go to six to nine and continue with the Lancet Gothic because it's very very similar in drawing these drawings. Okay so the first thing we do is we find a center of the page so that will be 20.5 then we get our rule at scale 1 to 10 and we put on our center mark at 425 so 425 I've got 40 25 I mark A and then I'll go from 425 from 0 right to 850 and mark the other side which is B. The next thing we do is step 3 is bisect the line C. So we'll open up. I'll have my point on B and scribe an arc at the top and then I'll scribe an arc at the bottom. Then I'll reverse my compass, put my mark on A and then on down the bottom I'll do an arc. Then we get our set square and draw a line through the two arc points where they meet. Now we measure up our rise, so this is C here, we're going to measure up our rise at 600 600 then that is D now I'm going to go to my Lancet Gothic instructions so I've got our Lancet Gothic and we're going from 5 so here it says scribe a line from D to A. So we just get our rule, put it on A and D and scribe our line up. Now step six says bisect the line A to D to mark on the baseline at E. So first we bisect our A to D line. So remember when we bisect, we always go over halfway. Scribe a mark on either side. Then reverse it. I put my point on the A. Oh, I have to do it again because it's moved. Scribe an arc on either side. I always go too short on my line, so I have to go back. And then I put it. So now we can put a line that will come down onto our baseline at E. So where the two points hit, I'll come down to here and that is E. You can see these pictures all the way through this book, it shows you the steps that we're doing. So the next step we have is we open up our compass on E to B. So we have E to B. Noticing too that when we did the um, Lancet one, the E was right on the other side of B. So we come internally. So we're going to transfer this to where A is internally, not on the external like we've done. That's the only difference. So I go B to E and get that distance. And I'm going to transfer it to A to mark F. So in step eight, we put the compass on point E. So we put our compass point on E, open it out to A, and then we scribe a line up to D. Now reverse that where we do the very last step is we put our 
point on A to E. Oh, sorry, we'll put our point on F to B and scribe a line up. And that's our intrados for our dropped arch.